Hello everyone, welcome to The Very Organized Thief, a game by Arcane Artist, where you play as a thief with very particular tastes. So I learned about this game from a site called Free Indie Games, which is a very good resource for finding out about games that you might otherwise miss. I will have a link to the site, as well as where you can play this game for yourself for free in the description. I think that's about all there is to say. Let's just get into it. Press space to start. Tick. Tock. Time is counting down. Indeed it is. Okay, so I've played this game a little bit just to familiarize myself with how it works, and basically you have a checklist, which I believe is randomized. Here you go. Yeah, you're not any old thief that's just gonna take anything. No, you have very particular tastes. You're, you're very organized, you could say. Thanks to borrow, computer tower, microwave, tablet, radio, DVD player, digital camera, statue, and gold bar. Oh yes, so I need to search for them and find them. And by the way, the owner will come home. So I've already burned far too much time talking, which is bad. You can turn on the lights if you want to. However, because I already know the owner is going to come home and ruin the party, here's what I'm going to do. I discovered something pretty cool. Check this out. Look at this. Uh-huh. I discovered that you can cut the power, which means when the owner comes home, he won't be able to turn on any of the lights. Which means I can continue to steal. In the shadows. Alright, I'm not going to remember what the hell's on here. Oh god, I'm not going to remember. Statue, DVD player, computer tower. Oh god, you can pick up pretty much everything. Oh god, the owner's already home! I haven't even stolen a single fucking thing! This is bad. This is really bad. I guess he's not gonna park the car inside of his parking garage thing? I'm, I'm not gonna complain about that. Yep. He's home. Oh shit, I just left. <laughs> I left with zero dollars of loot. I didn't know that was an exit. I thought it was just another door. 1 minute 41 seconds, making you a pity intruder. Press space to play again. Okay, that's good. And now that I've talked about how this game actually works, now maybe I should actually rush around like crazy and try to find stuff. So let's do it. Let's do it faster this time. Okay. Here we go. Cut the power, 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 cut the power. Okay. Now what am I getting? Bracelet, toaster, microwave, portrait of a lady. Portrait of a lady. Okay, that one's easy. It's easy to find. Looking for a portrait. Kettle blender gold bar. Oh, look at these paintings of this lovely family. Yeah. What do you think of that? That's what I think of your family. Portrait, portrait. No, I've already been in here. Oh, great. I still haven't stolen a single thing. Oh my god, why do you keep coming home so soon? Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, I think, yeah, I needed that too. Okay, laptop. And portrait. Okay, making progress. He's gonna come in that door. Let's watch him. So I guess I'll brighten up the video for you. Yep, there he is. Yeah, I'll brighten up the video for you. But, oh, <laughs> he just knocked over his own chair. He's going to try to turn on the lights, but he's going to find out they don't work. Somebody's inside of your home. So yes, I'll brighten up the video for you, because I know that dark scenes don't survive compression on YouTube all that well. But I'm going to leave my flashlight off for the most part, because he will see me if I turn it on. So we're going to do the rest of this mission in the dark. Okay. Bracelet, to toaster, and microwave. Alright, so if I find the kitchen, I should be able to find that stuff. Where is he? I can't even hear his footsteps. Oh, here we go. Microwave. Nope. Oh, God. Okay, that's above us. I so wish I could hear his footsteps. It's very dis... <laughs> he could be right behind me and I wouldn't even know it. Alright, there should be a toaster in the kitchen. That is usually something that's in the kitchen. Ooh, office key. Like, cor correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure toasters are typically in the kitchen. Oh. Shh, shh, shh. Where'd you go? I 
have no idea where he is. It's very disturbing. Oh, that's a toaster. In the dark, it just looks like a like a box of Kleenex. Okay. Bracelet? Blender? Oh, blender. That should be in here, too. Oh, everything's so dark. <gasps> Shh. Don't make a noise. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, if a blender's not in the kitchen, where is it? Oh, 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 it's probably down here. Okay. Blender? Blender? Oh, I knew it. Okay, good. We're making progress. Bracelet? Kettle? Kettle's right here. Damn, a lot of kitchen stuff. I'm lucky. Bracelet? And a gold bar. Bracelet. Okay, bracelet would probably be in the bedroom, I'm guessing. Which I think is upstairs. Where is he? So disturbing. That he doesn't have... Oh, fuck! Oh, God! Huh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Man, why don't you have footstep sounds? You realize how unnerving not having footstep sounds is for thieves trying to steal your stuff? It's so rude. Okay, I'll hear him, I'll hear him open the door if he, if he opens it. Money stack? Hell yeah. Oh, no, I didn't want to pick it. <laughs> I didn't want to pick up the table. Money stack, yeah. What is that? It's a phone. Another money stack. I can't even see what that is. Ooh, bracelet. Alright, hopefully the owner didn't see the light. Hopefully it didn't bleed through the floor or something. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I need to know a passcode to get inside of the safe, which is most likely, almost certainly, where the gold bar is. Where am I going to find a passcode? It didn't work. It didn't work. And what was that? Looks like a, it's a gigantic button, I think. But I can't press it, and I don't think I want to, because it's kind of red and disturbing. Might be some sort of alarm. Oh, shit. Okay, where am I going to find a passcode? I have to be in a drawer. Oh, oh! 9299. Got it. Got it. Yeah, just stay right there. 9299. Wait, what? 9299, right? Was it upside down? So is it sick? No, it can't be upside down. Oh, <gasps> shit! Oh, I didn't turn on the fucking light! Jesus, I turned on the light. I hope he's blind. Please be blind. The tick... Talk of that damn clock is very disturbing. Where are you? Oh, I didn't even open the door. It must have been another door. Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck off! Run! Run! Uh, I can escape! I can escape! I know I can escape! I'm in the dark. It's okay. You won't be able to see me. <gasps> okay, well, he definitely knows there's an intruder in his home, if he didn't before. But thankfully, he can't see. Oh. Fuck you. Yeah, try to walk through that. Alright, let me read this again. Yeah, nine, nine, two, nine, nine. You really can't read that any other way, can you? If it's not the passcode, what is it? It can't be 6629, because then the two would be upside down. Unless it's meant as like a... What if you... I mean... Uh. I guess... Well, that was weird. Maybe? It could be 6629. Wouldn't make a lot of sense, but it could be. It 
we should check the other rooms, but let me try to enter it f again. Nine two nine nine or six six <laughs> upside down two. Actually, kind of looks like a seven with a weird bottom. I guess maybe it's six six seven six. I don't know if it gets that complicated. Maybe I just entered it in wrong before. No. Nine two nine nine. Nine two nine nine. Oh, it does work. Maybe I just needed to press the open button instead of whatever I did before. Oh, look at that. Jeez, actually, that is, that's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. That sucker is massive. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to mess with the owner. How's that for sending a message? <laughs> yep. That sends a strong message. Oh, here. Why didn't you call the police? There you go. <laughs> I'm such a dick. Well, this person isn't going to be able to send their kids to college. I'm such a nice person. Why would you have a stack of money in the bathroom under the sink? Or, well, next to the sink. That is so weird. Alright, now I'm just gonna mess with this person before I leave. There you go. Let's put your... Very strange looking trash can. It's the kind of trash can you'd see outside, not inside of a home. Let's put it in the bathtub. Where is he, actually? I haven't seen him in a long time. Maybe he got stuck on something. I don't like this painting. That's what I do with paintings I don't like. I throw them downstairs. Ooh, nice TV. It'd be a shame if I got broken. It's a shame all these items don't have sounds. Oh, it's a teddy bear. It's a ring. What is that? You can even pick up the cushion as a separate object from the chair. That's so cool. Stamps. Is, is that a book of stamps? That's not exciting. Although it is more exciting than the book of stamps is the fact that it's infinitely rotating around my cursor. Or it was. There we go. Look at that. Okay, I'm... A book of stamps sounds boring, but in practice, apparently it's a lot more interesting than I thought. It appears to have powers of levitation. Hey, owner! Did you know you had a levitating book that has magical powers? You should check this out. Look at this. It's amazing. You should really read it. I'm going to lock you in now. Did he just... I think his AI just, like, died... What if I throw a TV at him? Nope. He doesn't care. Okay, goodbye. You escaped. With 3,800 or $38,751 of loot. In 11 minutes, 21 seconds, making you a very organized thief. Why, thank you. And if you do it again, let's see, what would my next list be? Jewelry box, TV. Okay, well, I think that was a s exceptionally good run, actually. I really didn't expect to be able to get everything so relatively easily. It looks like if you cut the power, you're good to go. Pretty much. I'm not even sure if I went into every room, did I? Maybe I did. But yeah, this this game is just really cool. I really like it. It's a simple idea. Just a thief with a, with a randomized list of stuff to, to pick up. And a limited amount of time to do it in. And I just really like how interactive the entire world is. Almost everything can be touched and played with. Boxes. The tops of the boxes. You can open cabinets and 
mess around with the bike and a lot like virtually every object you can pick up. It really does, it really does wonders for making you feel like you're actually inside of a world to be able to interact with things in a physical way and touch them and move them. Sometimes they also do super magical levitating acts, which is kind of cool too. Like this. It's amazing. Yeah, if you took... I think if you took the idea of this game and just spruced it up, like one, one big thing to add would be sounds. If you have pretty accurate sounds for all of these objects, which would be an incredibly difficult thing to do, by the way, because there's so many different objects to make sounds for. But, yeah, if you had good sounds for every single object you can pick up, it would add so much more to the world, even. If everything, like if this tire just made bouncy tire noises and whatnot, and clinks and clanks when you picked up this sort of stuff. That would be so cool. I just really freaking like the idea. And the little sound cues, like the clock going off, which kind of adds to the creepiness of it and the fact that you can hear the owner coming in. Oh, would you shut up already? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna shove you somewhere. I'm gonna, where, am I, where am I gonna put you? There you go. Have fun in there. Oh my god, what the... Drop you. Go away, I don't want you anymore. I don't like you. And yeah, the, the use of the... Uh, the sound of the owner coming home. But it's not just a, a sudden thing, like the door just suddenly opens. No, it's, it's a gradual thing. You hear the car pull up, and then you hear them get out, and you hear them close the door, and then you hear them walk up, and then you hear them use the keys. You know, it's this drawn-out, tense affair. Also, I just realized, how come the owner hasn't come home yet? Last time, they came home extremely quickly. This time, it's been over a minute. Weird. But yeah, there's just so much interactive. Look, even the individual bits of fruit from the bowl are interactive. Look at that. It's amazing. And somewhere over here, I saw a bunch of bottles. It's so fun to play with bottles. I need to show you the bottles. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, there's the owner. Look, uh, I wish I could crouch. Oh, yeah. Physics. Physics. Unfortunately, the individual books are not interactable, but still. It's just so cool. Maybe I should get caught by the owner. Do you want to see what happens when that when that happens? Oh hey. Hey, what are you doing? Man, what the What the what the hell? <laughs> he just kept on going there. You were subdued by the owner. You failed. So yeah, that's what happens. You just get beaten to to death, I guess, or unconscious. What do I have now? Bicycle, computer tower, portrait of a lady. Yeah, I just really like it. It's fun to make a mad dash through people's rooms, frantically just tearing everything apart, looking for stacks of money and just messing around with stuff. It's fun. Yeah, I, th I think messing around with physics inside of a game is one of the most fun things to do. It's, it's such a simple thing, relatively. You know, it's not really a complex interaction to just be picking stuff up and interacting with, I guess, rigid body physics or whatever it is. But it's so satisfying. It really is. It's so satisfying that there's a lot of games that are based entirely around it. I'm sure you've seen physics games that are just all, all about the physics. Just playing with physics. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there, and that's because it's very satisfying. It's really cool. So yeah. Alright, hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of The Very Organized Thief. Thank you for watching.